Welcome back to the Temple of Tomes with your host, Indie Comics Jones. This is episode 45. Today's July 13th, 2020, and I picked this little item up from the comics book shop. And it's a, I haven't really looked at it that closely, so we're going to go through it together, see what your impressions of it are. I hope you leave some comments, subscribe. Um, basically, Marvel put this out because of the break in comics that occurred because of the COVID outbreak. And they're trying to keep everybody up to date of what they had previously shown up until, I guess they kind of cut it off around uh, mid-March or maybe end of March or so. So now they're starting back up and they want to get everybody back on board with their comics line. So we'll take a quick look at this. Um, this will probably be a pretty short video because I don't know if there's going to be a lot of meat in here. First of all, it starts out with a uh, letter from C.B. Sabolsky, editor-in-chief. He's saying, hey, welcome back. That's what I say every show. So he's stealing my thunder. i tell you. I'd uh, knock the guy silly. So... As you can see, previously in The Amazing Spider-Man, it just kind of goes through what had transpired in the previous arc that's going on, and that monster that's Spidey's friend at the end, I guess. Uh, Avengers, looks like Moonlight's taking on something strong, and nothing really too much. I don't know if you can read this quick enough. Okay, then we have uh, previous. feel free to pause it if you want to read this stuff previous and black cat i'm not really reading too many marvel right now um i've not been very happy with the storylines i think the last thing that i was really following was superior spider-man and i bowed out of that about uh half year ago Just went previously in cable then we'll be taking a look at Captain America next. And I don't know what he's up to these days, but it's nothing like what we've been seeing in the movies. So we'll just kind of skim through here. And now this isn't the most exciting thing or not, but I do not want to read all this stuff. Now you are ready to read Captain America number 21. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we go to Captain Marvel. So I guess these are in, in alphabetical order in here. And Captain Marvel is looking pretty cute here. And then not so cute. Oh well. Okay. Previously in Daredevil. And you know, I don't know if anybody's really going to get a lot out of this. I'm just showing you what Marvel's putting out right now. Not really uh, fantastic stuff. I always end with, now you're ready to read blah blah. Now we'll go to Deadpool and it's just a lot of writing here. Not too much action, so to speak. And congratulations, now you have a doctorate in Deadpool and you're qualified to read issue number five. Tell them Deadpool sent you and you can have it for the cover price. All right, well... You got me, Deadpool. I'll be buying that one for sure. Not. <laughs> okay, Doctor Strange. Uh, see, nothing's nothing's really catching my eye here. Empire. I talked to my comic book shop about how he's selling on this. He's he's not ordering a lot of these, just a few. And uh, he had a couple people or want to order every single issue. I guess they're collectors. But other than that, he says sales have been pretty small, but he's been ordering very little, and he's been able to get rid of them from his shop, so they're not sticking around. He learned, he's learned his lesson on some other um, previous events Marvel has put on. This is Excalibur, and now you're ready to Excalibur 10. Ghost Rider. Okay. Like I'm saying, these panels aren't really getting me excited about anything all right let's go to guardians of the galaxy okay so a little not sure what's going on there i've been following that up. hellions 
like I said, feel free to pause it if you want to read these things more closely. I don't know if you're into this or not. Previously in, Hulk, in Mortal Hulk, I heard this is a very good season uh, series, so I might go back and buy the trade on this and get uh, see what's going on with it. it. Seems to be getting a lot of uh, review rave reviews, and I just found out about those rave reviews just a couple weeks ago. So they're well into the series on that. Marauders, and eh, let's go fast through this. I don't think anybody's reading Marauders. Okay, and we have previously on Marvel's X. I feel like I'm one of those other channels that just shows <laughs> shows the whole comic and just plays music in the background. Uh, not really a review channel. Uh, what is this? Uh, Miles Morales, Spider-Man. Actually showing a little action at least. And there's our friend Ms. Marvel. Uh, hit. I don't think she's got a series right now. <laughs> she's, she's nothing but a hit. Anything but a hit, actually. Previously in Strange Academy. Okay, that almost looks like a YT, YA uh, novel there. Previously on Star Wars. So now we get our Star Wars stuff. And there's Luke. Oh, how we miss Luke, don't we? And Darth Vader. Not so much. He's smooching away. Okay. okay. And now you're ready for Darth Vader number three. Previously in Spider Woman. She fans out in this epic story. This is Spider Woman number one. So she's back. Oh, what's going on with her eyes and mouth? I don't know. Not that's enough to get me buying that comic, Symbiote Spider-Man. Okay. Oops, I'm sorry. I got a little out of the lines. And that is for issue five, previously in Thor. Probably never do this again because I'm not expecting another COVID outbreak. Previously in Venom. Would you like some music in the moon? Bum, ba ba bum, 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 ba ba bum, bum, ba ba bum, 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 ba ba bum, bum, ba ba bum, bum, bum. Wolverine, we're almost done. How about that? We're in the W's, well into the W's. And now you're ready to sink your claws into Wolverine number three. Previously on X Force, I like how they they uh, sinked your claws. That was like a good one on Wolverine, huh? They're just killing it, just killing it. And previously in X Men, so we're almost to Z Men. <laughs> okay, going pretty fast here, but this will not be a long video. And X-Men and the Fantastic Four. Wow. Now you are ready for the Fantastic Four. Now I know there's a Fantastic Four uh, coming out with Mark Wade and Neil Adams. And I'm not sure if Neil Adams is going to do the interiors. Hopefully he will. And finally, Maestro, which they've been pushing big time. Um, at last, the origin of the Hulk's greatest foe himself, Maestro number one. So that's it, what we got. Um, nothing really shocking, nothing really exciting. <sighs> um, I don't think, I, I didn't see anything in here that will make me want to go out and buy any Marvel. I have been picking up uh, a DC here and there. I do like the indie comics right now. Um, you know, the American Mythology series that have been coming out. I've really been enjoying those. So I would recommend those. Um, still trying to hang tough with Image, hoping they'll bring something out that I really like. Um, nothing going on right now with that. I'm waiting for uh, Death and Glory number 12. I think that's going to wrap up the series on that. So hopefully that'll be out soon. Anyway, from the drawing board of Indie Comics Jones,
This is Indie Comics Jones signing off. Hope you have a wonderful week. Take care. Oh, by the way, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Uh, Mark liked if you like this video or give me some comments. Like I said, this will probably be the last time I'll be doing something like this since this was a special issue that came out trying to revitalize the interest in Marvel Comics. We'll see if it works or not.